Hi, if you have never done Excel before, this is a very quick introduction of Excel. Excel, if you open up the worksheet, what we call, this is sheet one, this worksheet has rows and columns. As you can see, the columns are alphabets and the rows are numbers. So every cell has an identity. So if I click here, it's B3 and it's shown here. Likewise, if I click here, this particular cell is E5 and you can see that on the extreme left corner. Now, when you, time, when you build a model using Excel, we always reference to this cells. We don't want to hard code anything, don't want to put directly numbers when you add, but we always add or subtract or build a model using this cell references. Now, what does that mean? So, assume that you have two numbers, 9 and 4. So, they are in cells D4 and E4. Now, if you use Excel like a calculator, then I would say equal to, that's how you begin any formula. I say 4 plus, I'm sorry, 9 plus 4. That's the way we use in a calculator. So, if you enter, you get the answer. But that's not the way to use Excel. We should always, instead of putting the number 9 plus 4, we say equal to, you reference that particular cell, D4 plus E4. If you hit enter now, you get the answer 13. The beauty of building a model like this is, if the number instead of 9 was 56, if I hit enter, it automatically calculates. That's the way you build models. Now, that was a very simple example. Assume that you have several numbers down below like this. I'll just put some random numbers. And now, you've already given the formula. So I want the formula to be copied down below. You want those two numbers to be added. Instead of typing that formula again and again, now I've given it once, I can now copy that. How do I copy that? There are many ways to do it. I can double click on this small square here or drag it if you want, drag it and drop it. If I double click, it copies the formula down below. Let me drag to these two rows. So it automatically copies those formula. Let's see how it works. If I click on F5, it has taken the corresponding cells and pushed it one below. So for the row number four, the formula was D4 plus E4. When I copy the formula, it takes the corresponding cells below. In this case, D5 plus E5. Likewise, if I click here on F6, you get D6 plus E6. So, this is one of the ways to build models where you build entirely using the cell references. This is lesson number one and we'll do other advanced one soon.